Today we're gonna test these LLMs on a 14 inch MacBook Pro M4 Pro with 48 gigs of RAM, but this time we're gonna go for the big boys. So we're talking Phi 3, 14 billion parameters, almost eight gigabytes, Quine 2.5, 14 billion parameters, nine gigabytes, Gemma 2, 27 billion parameters, 16 gigabytes, Lama 3.18 billion parameters. Unfortunately, there's nothing like 30 billion or 34 billion, that would have been awesome. That's why I decided to go for the 16 bit floating point version at 16 gigabytes, then Quen 2.5, 30 billion, 20 gigabytes, and last but not least, Lama 3.1 at 70 billion parameters, 39 gigs. Remember, this is a 48 gigs machine. Will this work? Well, let's try it out. So let's go for a Phi 3, 14 billions. One thing that might be interesting to see this time is the memory pressure here. This is the prompt that I used last time. I'm gonna use the exact same one so that we can have a reference. I'm gonna let you read it in your own time if you like it. So let's copy it, paste it, and see just how fast that goes in three, two, one, go. That is pretty quick to start and write, which is pretty cool. I think this version is a lot better than the other Phi 3 version. And you can actually see the memory pressure going up as it is using the LLM and then going down when we're done. So it generated 962 tokens, which is way too much. We're aiming for around 650 tokens, but that's fine. 40 seconds to do so. So that's about 24 tokens per second, which is Pretty impressive, to be honest. Now, the important thing here to check out this time is the prompt eval duration, and obviously the eval duration in itself. But this is the time that it will take the LLM to actually understand what we want from it, her, and then actually process the prompt. So that was pretty fast. Okay, now let's try Quen 2.5, 14 billions verbose as well. And I guess it's gonna be pretty much in the same ballpark when it comes to speed, but let's see. This is the prompt and let's go. And again, check out the memory pressure building up. I think this one was a bit slower when it comes to actually evaluating the prompt. So I think that the 40 billion parameters version of Quen 2.5 is actually better than the smaller one that we tried out, but it's not like heaps better. And you can see again, the memory pressure graph going up and down. So you can see what the impact is on the system. So again, 48 gigs of RAM in this machine. It wrote 760 tokens, which is a bit too much, but that's fine. 40 seconds to do so and almost 19 tokens per second. The prompt eval duration was 4.3 seconds, which is a lot longer than Phi 3. But I mean, when you look at the results, it's okay to wait for four seconds, that's fine. Okay, now let's go for a bigger boy, Gemma 2, 27 billions. So this one is 16 gigs of weight. Let's see how fast it loads. It's pretty fast. So this is the prompt and let's see, three, two, one, and check out the memory pressure, let's go. This is a lot slower when it comes to evaluating the prompt, but that's fine. I guess like the, the 70 billion uh, version of Lama 3.1 is gonna be a nightmare. So this feels like, I would say, when you're using Cloud 3.5 Sonnet on a free plan and it's like super crowded and you only get this kind of speed, but it's fine. I mean, this is, usable. I actually really love the way that the story is written with this one. And so we have 733 tokens, which took almost one minute, 13 tokens per second. That is slow, but still usable. But this one took 7.5 seconds to evaluate the prompt. And this time we're going to go for an 8 billion parameters, but a 16 bit floating point precision. And that is why it has the same weight as this one, 16 gigabytes, but let's see how that performs. So that's Lama 3.1, 8 billion instruct FP16. And by the way, if you wonder where you can find all these models, you go to olama.com, go to the models. So the one I'm using is Lama 3.1 right there. And then you come to this drop down and you click on view all. And you will see here all the different versions with the different quantizations. And I got this one. So 8B instruct FP16. So that's 16 bit floating point. You click on it and you can see 16 gigs and this is the command you have to run to run it on your machine 
if your machine doesn't have the model, it will download it and then it will run it. I already downloaded it because it's very long. Okay, let's go. Well, I'm at 3.1. Let's go with the prompt and enter. Let's see the memory pressure building up. So the thing is, it is big because you get all the precision of the original model, which most of the time you do not want or you do not need even. Most of the time you're going for the 4-bit quantization. The KM version is most often than not the one that you're getting on Olama. And you can actually check that in here. You can see here the quantization if F16 for this model. But if I go to the 8B model, it's the Q40. So 5.6 seconds to evaluate the prompt. We got 651 token right on the money. 44 seconds to do so and almost 15 tokens per second, which is really good. That is pretty nice. Okay, now it's gonna get a bit messy. We're gonna go for Quen 2.5, but the 32 billion parameters version. Let's see just how much time it takes to load. That was fast. Now let's go for the prompt and I think this one is gonna be a bit messy. Let's go. So the pressure is building up. Oh, this is slow. Okay, we got running. To be honest, I did not expect a 32 billion parameters uh, LLM to run this fast on this computer. Even the eval time, the prompt eval time was, I would say, okay. And I would say this one has a very nice tone to it. I mean, in early spring, however, this kind of sentences we didn't get in the other smaller LLMs, which by the way, were really good. And I'm going to link that video in the description if you want to check it out. Really small LLMs that you can run on any uh, version of the MacBook Pro. Uh, either you have like the M4 Pro version with 24 gigs of RAM or even the M4 base model with 16 gigs. You can run those. So not these ones, the, the smaller ones you can run them no problem. That is the first time ever that I uh, got to hear the fans, but they were really quiet. They were around 3000 RPM and they're already back down at 2400, which I cannot hear. So this time the load duration was really quick, but the eval duration for the prompt was almost 10 seconds and you could feel it. 657 tokens right on the money again, one minute and 11 seconds to create the story, which is slow now. And we are at nine tokens per second. I mean, it's usable, but it's definitely not fast. And last but not least now, let's try the behemoth Lama 3.1, 70 billions, which has a weight of, ladies and gentlemen, 39 gigabytes. I'm not even sure the machine will be able to handle it, but let's see, boom. Oh, you can see now it takes some time to be ready to run. Oh, we get, we get the yellow and the red when it comes to the memory pressure, but now it's ready. Let's go, let's go for the prompt. Three, two, one, watch the memory pressure. Hmm, the memory pressure is not really budging it's not going to red territory but this thing is thinking a lot okay i'm gonna speed this up this this will take some time okay i don't know how much time it took for the lnm to begin writing but that was a long wait we're gonna see that afterwards really interesting to see that that dip right there in the ram usage obviously memory used for the whole system and olama almost 47 gigabytes. So it is slow. I don't know what that is, but it looks like maybe five tokens per second, something like that. Obviously we got the fan spinning and the temperature of the CPU cores and GPU cores is well going up as expected. So I do not know the tokens per second value here, but I would say this is not usable. This is very slow and I can hear the fans now. 3600 RPM and still ramping up. So once this one is done writing, we'll think about what is the best option here. And there you go. So prompt eval duration, almost one minute and 30 seconds. This is not usable. Uh, eval duration, two minute and 13 seconds to actually write the text. So the token amount is okay, 661, but that's 
almost five tokens per second, not even. So this is slow and I would say this is not usable. So I asked Claude what he thinks is the top three and he says Lama 3.1, 8 billion instruct, so the 16-bit floating point version and I do agree it is fast and it is the perfect length and the text is really good. Quen 2.5, 14 billion, so you don't have to go much higher than that. That works. That's a strong option right there as well. And then Gemma 2, 27 billion. This one was really good as well, albeit a bit slower, but still usable. And I do agree with Claude when he says that Phi 3 is too verbose and melodramatic. That is true. Quen 2.5, 32 billion is slow. And same goes for Lama 3.1, which is, in my opinion, not usable. So you want to go for something that is around 16 gigs when it comes to the speed, not, not the RAM usage. So the problem here is using the GPU cores. You want to go for something that is, I would say, between 14 and 27 billion. But you have to check it out because you can see that Quen 2.5 32B was slow but the uh, 27B version of Gemma 2 was quicker. So can you run a 70B LLM on this machine? You can, but it's unusable. You probably want to wait for the MMAX Studio with the M4 Max or even the M4 Ultra chips to try that out or even get a dedicated rig. But it doesn't make sense to have these kinds of LLMs running locally on a machine. The small ones and the medium ones around 30 billion parameters are really good. And here are the stats for all these models. And as you can see, they are quite a bit slower than the smaller models that we tried on this machine. And I will put a link in the description to that video if you want to check it out. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.